of this intersection. What did you find out? Well, Deb, there were six other accidents at this intersection here between 2010 and 2013. Whether DUI was involved or not, it was still enough for the city to take action. Bubble man, bubble boy. <laughs> <laughs> His real name is James Ray, and today is a good day. Celebrating 420 and the fact that uh, February would be five years I've quit smoking. I don't know if I'll ever get off the bubbles, though. <laughs> Living off Woodstock at Foster Road, he's seen a lot. Probably uh, five or six good crashes and crazy drivers um, multiple every day. <laughs> this morning was no different. He didn't see the crash, but... I heard it. It sounded like a, tr a garbage truck and running into a dumpster or something. It was really loud. Portland police say DUI was likely the cause of this accident. But James thinks that there are other reasons for the crashes here, like speed. I don't think they can see that the 25 mile an hour sign that tells you about the corner here. A surprising observation because... Since I'm blind, uh, I, wear, I wear bright clothing when I go out here, so cause a lot of times I don't see the cars, and so I want them to at least see me. Even if they don't see him, they see his bubbles. People actually slow down around here just because of the bubbles, you know. I think uh, maybe I'm helping, you know. <laughs> Soon, because this has been identified by the city as a high crash corridor, he should have some help slowing cars down. Plans are in the works to overhaul the traffic patterns starting next year. Until then, James has some advice. Life's too short to be.